I am back with another uh, poem by Dr. Alama Muhammad Iqbal. Um, today I have a poem, it's called Ram. Okay, so that's the title. And Ram is a, you know, he is a central figure in the in Hinduism religion. Okay, so Lama Iqbal, who was a Muslim philosopher and poet and thinker, so he is talking about a, you know, he's talk he, he's talking about Ram, and Ram is, you know, the central figure in Hinduism. Okay, so I have shared two other videos, um, and there are two more, you know, two other poems. Uh, one was Muhammad Ali Bab, and the, another one was Nanak. Okay, so Muhammad Ali Bab, he is a, he is a primary figure, you know, in uh, Baha'i faith, and Nanak or uh, Guru Nanak, Baba Nanak, he is a, he is the first guru of Sikhism faith. Okay, so for me, you know, I you know I have I have said this before as well in my previous video that please walk, please read these three poems together okay because for me you know i think that there is a there is the, the topic in these three poems it's a, it's a common topic there okay so uh, yeah so before i you know i talk about ram or before i try to explain this uh, this poem uh, i want to make some uh, points about you know about iqbal uh, what i have you know learned so far uh, from the poems that I have shared or you know the poems that I have read so uh, you know Lama Iqbal's poetry is you know is basically you know criticism okay so he criticizes a lot okay and most of his criticism is towards you know Muslims of that time you know at, at the time of uh, when he was there so he criticizes you know majority you know the Muslims of, of his time and you know, the, so Muslims were supposed to do some things, okay, so they were supposed to follow their religion, they were supposed to, you know, spend time on religion and, you know, follow religion as, as, as everybody should, you know, of all faiths should. So, but he blames basically the, the clergy, okay. So the people who were there and whose uh, job was to, to teach religion, you know, in a, in a in, a, in, in its true form, you know, but he blames them, okay, so he blames, you know, mullahs and, you know, Sufis and, you know, mystics and everybody, so he blames them all, uh, and then, and then he uh, blames, you know, uh, he criticizes uh, anything that, you know, divides humanity, okay, so religion, uh, as I have understood, you know, it's something that unites human beings, okay? You cannot exclude some groups, you know, certain groups of individuals. You cannot just exclude them, okay? Religion, you know, it includes everybody, okay? So anything, any concept, any idea, any system that, you know, that divides human beings and uh, that, you know, he, Iqbal criticizes that, okay? So one of such system that we have in our society, in my Pakistani society and in, you know, in Indian subcontinent, it's caste system, okay? So based on, you know, the profession of our forefathers, you know, we have castes, you know, associated to, to all of us. And then there are some inferior, you know, castes and then superior, okay? So we divide are individuals living in our societies into inferior and superior individuals okay so this is something against you know the the the, the law of the natural law okay or uh, you know it's against the creator okay it's inhuman you cannot do that you cannot just you know uh, you know certain group of people you know you cannot just you know associate you know this inferiority complex with them okay that they are inferior born inferior to the others okay so la mike ball criticizes this okay and then <clears throat> and then his next criticism that i have found you know i have read it's of west okay so the the west you know the, the, the western society is not the society but you know he criticizes he uses this word you know europe and you know uh, frangi you know so he basically criticizes west and the reason for this that I understand that I am trying to understand is that you know Iqbal was there at the time of uh, so he lived his life 
uh, in India and at that time India was colonial India okay so India was you know a colony of British at that time so maybe you know this you know his uh, his criticism you know it, it stems from there but more than that you know uh, I I think he criticizes the, the the political and the religious elites you know the clergy of you know west he criticizes them for the reason that they have replaced a religion with materialism in western societies okay so that's what you know my understanding is so far that you know he uh, iqbal puts uh, lots of you know emphasis on religion and you know so societies should be you know they you know they should they should associate themselves uh, with religion okay so religion religion should be the driving force you know behind uh, societies but in west you know the political and the you know elites they have replaced religion with the materialism okay and iqbal criticizes that you know in in, in his poems so uh, but his criticism his criticism is not uh, i mean there is no hate there he doesn't he does not hate individuals okay when he when he you know criticizes mullahs or something he is not hating them you know as a, as a person okay so but he is giving his arguments okay he is giving his reasoning okay for his uh, for his criticism and you know so those uh, arguments or those reasonings you know they should be they should be replied in the same manner okay there should be counter arguments for that okay you cannot just ignore iqbal or you cannot just term him as you know that uh, he's a narrow minded you know person you cannot just do that okay and then uh, the last thing is that his poetry you know is not just criticism okay so he also gives solutions okay his there are his, there are poems that you know he gives hope okay so there is there is hope a message of hope in his poems okay so you cannot just take it you know that he just criticizes everything okay so yeah so that's all I, uh, I wanted to make these points and now I'll come back to the poem Ram so again Ram is a central figure in Hinduism and you are listening you know maybe for the first time you know in, 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 in you know you may you may be surprised to hear this okay that from a strictly Muslim philosopher Muslim scholar you are going to listen you know you're going to read uh, I'm gonna explain that you know uh, you know what he's talking about Ram okay so let's see Labrez hai sharab haqeeqat se jame hind okay so the the glass of hind you know the cup of uh, India cup of you know India it's full with sharab e haqeeqat you know the the wine of truth okay so Indian glass it's full it's still full with the with the wine of truth okay so there were individuals in you know from this region from this you know the, from Indian subcontinent and those individuals those people they you know they they understood you know the the secret of life okay they understood the purpose of their own life and then they understood the purpose of creation okay so this is truth okay this is what he's calling that you know this is a this is a wine and this is wine of truth and indian cup is full of this truth okay it's full of this wine and sub philosophy hain khitta e maghrib ke ram hind okay and all philosophers of west you know they acknowledge this they acknowledge this that you know you know their the, the, the Indian subcontinent has you know the, the people have lived there and those people have you know they had you know the truthful message you know that they, they spread they gave uh, to the world okay so all philosophy all philosophers from Maghrib from the West they agree on that and they, they acknowledge this okay okay it's because of these you know these Indians these uh, these people and because of their you know the, the high thinking or because of their elegant thoughts because of their elegant thinkings okay that they were able to you know to their their thoughts were so high you know in other words you know they were able to you know see through the you know through the skies and you know uh, what mysteries you know the sky hold 
holds in it you know the stars and you know the, everything that holds you know these are there are mysteries you know behind each object okay so they they could you know they could understand those mysteries okay they understood the purpose of creation and uh, and for this reason you know india is uh, and because of these people and because of their elegant you know and thoughts you know india is respected okay it's respected and it you know it's um, it's uh, placed highly you know among you know the community of nations is desh mein hue hain hazaron malak sarisht okay so in this in this land in this niche in this country you know the, the um, undivided india at that time so in this country in this days uh, there have been like they have lived thousands of people you know who actually had you know uh, angelic you know uh, qualities okay so there were people who lived on this land and they they had you know they were such pious people you know that they had angelic qualities in them they lived the life of angels okay and mashhoor jinke dam se hai duniya mein naam hai hind and they gave you know fame you know to india you know india is respected india is famous for because of these people okay the people that have you know lived on uh, on uh, on india and one of such you know one of the, the, the such person you know it's uh, he is ram okay now ikbar introduces ram hai ram ke wujood pe hindustan ko naz so you know the entire india you know the indian subcontinent it's proud of ram you know that ram was born there and he lived there okay so it's it's and the entire region is proud of ram ahle nazar samajhte hain usko imam e hind okay so the people who the, the spiritual people okay or the people who had you know uh, that that sight or that vision that they could see through the you know there is matter and you know uh, and then there is a there is a real realm of souls okay so they, we have souls and you know we have bodies we have matter so what when we see when i see we just see matter around us okay but there are people who could who can see who can see through the matter and into the into the soul's realm okay so they can see you know the real self of somebody okay so we are just you know we are just matter okay but we have a real us you know inside us okay uh, so these people these spiritual people they can see uh, through the through the matter and they consider ram as a as imam of him okay as a guide or as a leader of this uh, this region ejaz us chirag e hidayat ka yahi hai yahi and it's because of him and you know the light that that he had you know so he 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 gave a message and that was a that message had a had a light in it okay it was it was guidance it was truthful guidance and it's because of his light and his message roshan tara sahar hai zamane mein sham hind that even you know the 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 sham of hind you know the even the i would say you know even during the uh, the darkest times you know of india you know when india was you know in, in during dark darkest times you know it was there was still enough light in it okay there was still enough light in it that you know india this region was shining you know among the uh, community of uh, you know nations and then he iqbal gives you know these these uh, qualities that ram had okay uh, amazing qualities okay and these qualities you know you know just 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 i'm going to read it talwar ka dhani tha shujaat mein fard tha pakizgi mein josh e mohabbat mein fard tha so ram he learned you know he learned the art of you know putting struggle okay and he was master of putting struggle and putting physical struggle okay so there are times when you know you have to uh, dispel evil you know with force okay so he was master of that you know he learned that art okay he was master of that and his bravery shujaat mein fard tha so his bravery was well known okay so he was unique you know his bravery was unique and he was well known for that and not just you know bravery pakizgi mein his piety he was a pious man okay so his piety was well known okay 
you know so so it, it was unique okay and piety and then joshi mohabbat mein fard tha you know his love for humanity you know the love that he shared you know uh, with humanity the people that who lived around him with them you know this was unique this was you know there was immense love in it him in him for the for the humanity okay so yeah so this is a uh, poem poem ram you know and see how you know iqbal is iqbal a muslim philosopher a thinker and poet he's talking about a you know a, a religious figure a central figure from hinduism faith okay so uh, i'll end with this you know that for me these three poems that i'm saying again and again ram muhammad ali bab and the nanak okay and through iqbal you know iqbal is talking about these three personalities they have given me you know a a you know if i i you know i put lot of emphasis on religion okay i'm trying to understand my religion so these three poems you know through iqbal you know they have given like you know they have cleared you know the term religion for me okay so if i had some doubts you know they have cleared those doubts okay and these are beautiful poems and i would uh, like you know i would request you that you know if you get time please read them together and uh, let me know you know if you share my if you agree with me that you know the the point there is there is a common point you know in in these three poems okay and uh, with this i will stop here and i will be back inshallah soon with another poem by iqbal so till then take care of yourself